Welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps, and this is Margie. I hope everybody is having a good day. So today, it's a little bit of a topsy-turvy day. We've been having some sudden issues with our with the bathtub upstairs. It decided to spring a leak through the floor uh, down here, and... Somebody had the water going upstairs last night, and all of a sudden my husband was down here, and and he says there's water going out of the out of the ceiling. So oh my gosh. Uh, so anyway, you know it's one of those things where your poor husband needs to to figure out what's going on, and so anyway, um, so while they're out of the house, I thought I would hurry up and get this done. So, I am going to make a layered soap today. It's going to be having uh, some white and some yellow. And so I'm thinking of putting some of this yellow vibrance mica powder in from Nurture Soap and maybe a little bit of this Firefly also from Nurture Soap. I have used the Firefly more often and if you go over to my uh, what is it the Apple Harvest video uh, this is the yellow that you will see that I used in the soap. It's very very nice. It is less intense than the yellow vibrance and it's, it's just a nice soft yellow so I'm gonna use that and I'm just kind of tinkering here with with the thought of the blue. Um, I would like I would like to use a little bit of this tropical teal, perhaps tone it down a little bit with some titanium dioxide. And for the blue, I would I might use two different kinds. I'm not quite sure. I'm still kind of thinking about this at the eleventh hour. All of these are actually all of these are from Nurture Soap except for the Tropical Teal. That's from Brambleberry. And this sea green mica powder that is beautiful. I use that in the cucumber, melon, and goat's milk soap video from last week. And I might mix that in with a little bit of blue because I don't want it to be the straight green. And this is the baby blue. And let me turn that around. It's very, very pretty. And this is just a little little sample here. Gosh, I think it's only like five grams of, of the sky blue. And I don't know if you can tell the difference in the color. This The, the sky blue is just a tad bit darker and has more more glittery shimmers in there. So we shall see. And the fragrance, I mixed about a portion of the Avo Bath from Nurture Soap, which they have since needed to rename it something else. I don't know if it's called Sunshine or something, but uh, to me it will always be Avo Bath. Let's just take a quick, quick temp here. So we're at about 70.
Welcome back to the cutting of the soap that I made a couple of days, which does not have a name yet. Let's see, I'm so excited to see how all of these layers uh, turned out. All right, hoo -hoo. this is fun. All right. Oh, look at that. That, oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, I gotta. I gotta look to see if I'm, oh, hold it down. There we go. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, but I'm just tickled pink. Tickled, tickled, tickled pink. Look at all those different layers. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm in love. I might, I might have to spend another hour working, working on another one. Oh, that just turned out so good. All righty. Let's cut another one. Yeah, so the, the the whole video ended up being 60 minutes, 60 minutes long. Oh my gosh, I love that. I think that's one of the prettiest soaps I have made to date. A little bit of air pocket, but that's all right. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. Way to go, Margie. Woohoo! Oh, I'm tickled. <laughs> It doesn't, doesn't take much to, to get me excited. Alrighty. A couple more. It's a 15, 15 inch loaf, so I'll just cut a couple more. So the video started out um, at 60 minutes when I finished. And so last night I was able to get it down to about 7 minutes with a lot of editing. A lot of editing. And I was looking, whoops, and I was looking to see on the analytical part of YouTube, just kind of what is the average time that viewers take to look at my videos. And it was like six, six and a half minutes. So I think a lot of people, if they're not you know, if they're viewers and maybe not soapers, they probably just uh, uh, jump ahead and and uh, skip the the intro and all of the little helpful hints and go right into the soaping portion, which is okay. But it uh... oh come on, alrighty. So well. I am just happier than a clam and a camper. I think that just turned out smashing. So, all right, everybody. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next video.